the 25th of June, 2022. So today is the 25th of June, 2022. Make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel, like my official YouTube videos, go to my website, www.susanneuling.com, which is the same as www.lindanorthbell.com. So I began listening to the hearings for the 23rd of June, 2022. Again, today is the 25th of June, 2022. And as per prior official YouTube videos of mine and 
know, other than one particular situation. Okay, fine, we kind of did. However, just because of doesn't translate to automatically doing so. Then there, and, and you know, I have a slew of situations where this has occurred, and I know I can't be the only one. So that's that's one reference in, in a nutshell uh, for multiple situations. So in regards to Vandenberg, I had asked, who was assigned to me, what do you 
think that makes more sense for those who would understand that. So I earned a total of 25 scuba diving certifications for, at that point in time, so 25. So two of those certifications would be the equivalent of two majors, and the way I had studied would be in reference to a minimum of a master's degree for that medical. If you really want to take in consideration, especially those who knew me in person, face to face in person before my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, and or after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, who know how I have studied, that's the equivalent of two PhDs with two different majors for that particular reference. So all of my specialties would be the equivalent of minors, but not really minors, especially those who know how I have been about education. So by the time of the Vandenberg scuba dive, for those who understand this, especially regarding college degree types, so I have the equivalent of 25 PhDs, okay? And this guy, who's assigned to me, has an associate's degree. But he doesn't have an associate's degree yet because the only work that he's done is over the course 
I know my. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can see. And by the way, so my scuba dive back. I didn't wear contacts. I had my eyeglass prescription and my scuba dive mask. Because for those who understand, okay, I was born and raised in New Jersey. I grew up going out to the Atlantic area, the oceanic waters. I knew that area. I knew that, like the back of my hand, okay? I started going out in the area of Point Pleasant. And yeah, there's other beaches, but I knew those areas like the back of my hand. So I didn't need my prescription at that point in time to that level, okay? However, going scuba diving, I needed to get my scuba dive mask with my prescription because I was not willing to have a contact fall out while in the middle of scuba diving and, you know, have an issue. <laughs> and then how do you put your contacts back in your eyeball when you're scuba diving? So, no, I had my scuba... So, you know, for those who may have had issues on land, how doesn't she recognize me? Other than the memory deficits and cognitive disorders after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000? Well, <laughs> did... It, this is a simple question for any male or female to ask themselves. Do you remember me wearing sunglasses after scuba diving? Because I would have had my prescription sunglasses with me. If I did not have my prescription sunglasses on my face, I have no idea what you look at. You <laughs> look at all whatsoever in any capacity, okay? I have given references regarding the 4th of July and the year 2012. And so there's that. So I, you know, I think like for those who are optometrists, my prescriptions in both of my eyes start with the number four. Okay? <laughs> there, I don't know, I think it's a minus, okay? And so it's a four, it starts with a four. And I think it's either five or two. Or maybe seven. I don't know. But those who are optometrists, that's my prescription. Okay? <laughs> so there was a saying in the 23rd of June 2022 hearings about the 6th of January 2021 in Washington, D.C. A guy was like, justice is supposed to be blind. You know what? <laughs> make a joke for those who are optometrists you might understand so I did not wear eyeglasses in my scuba diving mask for those who are non scuba divers they'll have military backgrounds it's not like the gas mask you can't put your BCGs inside okay there's no little doohickey malab for you to do that or for those who don't know what I'm talking about if you remember a different world okay and Dwayne Wayne where he had the little Sort of eyeglasses can't do that. That's not allowed. I mean, maybe it can. I don't know. I didn't have that option in the year 2009. Okay? So I go scuba diving and I have business to handle. Okay? <laughs> and so for this reference, I'm going to give for a metaphor. Okay? So I've recently been listening to several on and off regarding, and, I, and I'm not going to be like those guys that I just referred to, I have listened to some of the aspects regarding vigilance elite. And so some of these guys have talked about certain things, okay? And I heard the term Navy SEAL training. I don't remember what it's called. I acknowledge that, okay? So in the reference for you guys to my scuba diet, a grizzled, old school Macy. All sorts of whatever fruit salad sort of, you know, stuff and like all sorts of doohickey mabob because of. And this guy <laughs> that got assigned to me before I went to go handle stuff is like, I read a comic book. <laughs> Ready to go scuba diving on a mission? <laughs> okay, that, that's, that's for that reference as to what was assigned to me. For those who can, who can kind of take those metaphors and kind of piece that together. And so I'm just like, can I, we need scuba diving police. We need scuba 
Too busy. Too busy. In the boat ride on the way out to the van to burn, by the way. Scuba diving, law enforcement, whatever. <laughs> we need this. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're a scuba diver, a snorkeler, a swimmer, or landbound. That's right. We need scuba dive police, scuba dive law enforcement. You? Again, I brought up that I wanted to do recon and everything, so it's like, okay, so I have to do this and scouting. Okay, I didn't graduate basic training, you know, so I gotta do it. So internal thoughts, of, I gotta take care of this, 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 I gotta take care of this. And this is all before getting my gear ready to go. And I gotta, okay, da 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 da. And this guy's sitting next to me, he's like, I got a big truck steak, and it's like, get my cigarettes out.
actually in the state of Texas. It's one of the my biological father's kids. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, I remember my childhood. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. <laughs> no. your feelings? Mm, you can call me slow, that's fine. Because <laughs> he has to hear Anna cry and or Patricia cry. No. <laughs> At that point, I'm bros before hoes. situations that if you don't have certain requirements met and, and and I don't know what it's called and I know I didn't graduate basic training though I was invited to attend marine and science technology school with the Navy attachment and then my clearance and all that yes I didn't graduate basic training blah 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 however because of also not knowing what branch or division that would be actually speak with. So my thoughts were, okay, well, there's the Navy and Marine Special Warfare in San Antonio, then the 2009 occurrence. Regarding particular situation as to the stage, instead, well, that kind of, you know, when you go to like, all right, well, let me see how this can, and then, and, and then that, 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 Subscribe to my official YouTube channel, like my official YouTube videos, and then, you know, my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, through my website, www.susanelane.com, which is the same as www.readyjoyadel.com. So, when I returned back and went to make an attempt to speak with an individual, well, here's another example. As to scuba diving law enforcement, I had already made attempts in regards of the school I was attending, as to this individual who caught a poopy fish. And, well, we're a puffer fish, chasing life, I'm about life, I'm so sporty, it's about life. And instead, you know, when making attempts to speak with a Naui scuba dive instructor, as to the reality regarding 
those particular factors in conjunction to other situations because it wasn't like the catching of the poopy fish was the only aspect to take in consideration. It's only one factor. I actually talked with people about that regarding the sea cucumber as well as a few other situations regarding literal discussions. And so I made the attempts and other people were like oh it's no big deal in comparison to how big of a deal it actually was and then there was landing at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico and those particular factors in conjunction to the initial starting in a international ish area of water and so with that reference as to scuba dive police or scuba dive law enforcement, well, who do I speak with about that? Who, who, who is there in that particular reference in those regards? And this is in 2009. And I wouldn't be surprised, especially in regards of military scuba divers, them having seen certain things and or submarine individuals having seen certain things in the water in comparison to something such as the Tic Tac video that the United States of America Navy had released coming out of the water. And so, you know, some of these situations where it's like, we need to do it. Yeah, I know that there's the Coast Guard. However, when it's in that initial area of the Gulf of Mexico, and it's not from a United States of America port that I had went out regarding my scuba diving work that week, my thoughts is, okay, well, which branch or division? Because the only thing I can think of is the Navy Marine Special Warfare after my Vandenberg work. And I already knew I was going to go take care of the stuff with the Vandenberg. So it was one of those, well, I can take care of this here where I can. And yet at the same time, when I get to the point of the Vandenberg portion that I need to take care of, I'll go do that. And it won't be that big of an issue because it'll be an all-in-one. So that way, you know, <laughs> they'll be whichever branch, division, whatever group up, it will be just A, B, C, D, E, F, G sort of thing. In comparison to, well, I'm not done with my work here, so, you know, I'll get, that way it's more cohesive and comprehensive. So that way it's not a, you know, piecing things together, it's just in a, in a logistical order, which is an irony regarding my MOS that I was supposed to have had I graduated basic training regarding AIT. And so in reference to that, you know, again, Navy Marine Special Warfare, well, Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment. When I was a medical hold unit, I worked with those guys. And so, you know, it's just, I, I figured, but it was as it was at that time in 2009. So arguing with a Maui scuba dive instructor who I didn't realize to the level of what those types of scuba dive instructors would be until the Vandenberg, where it was, oh, this makes so much more sense. Why? Okay. Okay. No, this makes so much more sense because whatever Maui requires, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> excuse me, international, good day police, good day law enforcement. It's a really important idea, <laughs> like there's this, there's this, and I went through this. And this was mainly in person, face to face in person. I didn't put it in writing because I figured that I'd be capable to be introduced to someone in an official capacity where it would be, you know, Susan, this is so-and-so from whichever, you know, I'm going to use what I would know for this metaphor. Susan, this is whatever the guy's name, that being Texas, and, or, you know, what I'll use it. This is Admiral, whatever her name is, but congratulations again regarding the first female commander of the United States of America's Coast Guard. 
for the reference now in the year 2022, though in that reference back in 2009 in, in that example. And this individual has a bunch of questions in regards to your scuba diving work. That would have been easier. That would have been so simple in comparison to, well, you know, there's this guy. Let me introduce you to this guy. So for one reference, <laughs> So I was engaged to this one individual. He drives the car all the way out to his dad's house. And so he's a child of divorced parents-ish that had stayed together for a little while. And instead of being like, so my dad works here or anything like that, the whole car ride from after dropping my son and my daughter off at my ex-sister-in-law's house, back to my house in Carrollton, Texas, and then out to his dad's house. The entire time I'm being informed of his childhood in regards of his feelings as to his mom and his dad, you know, separation and all that sort of stuff. And it's like, okay. And then when he parked the car, turned the vehicle off and opened the door, by the way, my dad's in the government. You ready to meet him? That's not the same as, so this is so-and-so. <laughs> they do this, like, so what he could have done would have been like, so my dad, he works in the government and he works with A, K, C, D, E, F, G in comparison to, and then he does that and that, because anybody who does it, I know they're shifters <laughs> by the way he's in the government you're ready to meet him we're out in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. yeah it's in the state of texas how big could that state be and 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 there's not another house for miles you ready to meet him yeah sure <laughs> mind you i looked as i did i wasn't wearing this i was wearing jeans and a t-shirt However, yeah, sure, 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 hi. Cool, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't judge me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I know what I look as, okay? And so, you know, if he was wondering, why is she telling me this? And like, whatever, because your son decided to be late and then you know, literally, you know, how long does it take to turn off the car to an ignition and open the door? By the way, he's in the government. And then shut the door. You ready to go? Come on, well, let's go. Are you ready? <laughs> it's a very different version. Just saying, it would be so much easier for that entire drive. I mean, it's similar in regards to what I dealt with in a different situation. So I drove from San Antonio, Texas all the way to Fort Worth. And this female who informs me later that she's a Mustang's daughter, <laughs> talks about anything else, traffic in Austin on I-35, okay? And you know, takes care of my son, car ride, the whole thing. Anybody who knows how the drive is from at 281-1604 to 35 before getting on. So, those who understand that traffic, this college student millennial's like, ah, da, 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 and then this, and then that, and then that, and then pull into the neighborhood, the GPS says, three minutes to the house. By the way, I think you might find this important, gets to two minutes. What would be important? Mind you, I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt, yet again. One minute to the house. My dad's in a, do you know what a Mustang is? The car or the horse? No, 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 in the military. There's the driveway. Uh-huh. 
Think you could have let me know that sometime. <laughs>
take another class, you know, at some point in time. I'm going to go back and then he's got like a class and then he's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go backpacking through this area. And then he takes like another class and then he's like, I'm going to go backpacking through this area too. You know what? I want to go backpacking through this area as well. And then he takes like another class and then he's like, you know what? I'm going to totally backpack through. Oh, where did my mommy and daddy say would be cool? That's this guy compared to my scuba diving. So there's going to be that clarification as to that massive difference between scuba diving. And so, you know, <laughs> the first situation is when I get back to the state of Texas and I'm like, yeah, so scuba diving law enforcement, scuba diving police, this guy, Lucius, now a scuba dive instructor who caught a poopy fish who hadn't been taking me seriously that whole time in regards of then in reference to the school that I had earned my scuba diving certification through I've been talking with them in regards of actual certification so in regards of the 23rd of June 2022 hearing about the January 2021 attack on the D.C. Capitol, I can give the metaphor of the after having been engaged and he was a non-scuba diver, if that individual as to the Maui scuba diving sort of Maui scuba dive instructor, because this is the same individual who had a problem with me actually earning my cavern scuba diving gear. And it was, well, I'd rather know my in comparison to just using it as a scuba dive instructor, how dare you ever consider yourself an instructor and expect anybody to be a responsible scuba diver, even in the civilian sector. You are literally setting a precedent of example regarding that irresponsibility in my appointment, in my opinion during these talking points as far as that. And his response was, oh, he just has to be serious all the time. Yeah, yeah, when you're a mom, a single mom, who's a legal widow of two children, yeah, yeah, don't have the luxury of being certain ways. Yeah, not at all, not in the slightest. There's not any capacity to have that viewpoint other than pure seriousness. And so in those references as to any hypothetical as to what I had already informed was going on in McCoy Elementary School and those problems needlessly. And so, you know, physical attributes in certain regards, you know, in order to be a responsible individual as far as that's concerned in comparison. And so my daughter, my son and I, and and I've seen some of those videos as far as where, you know, a soldier shows up and, and returns back in comparison. Because why would someone who would be that way ever take anything into consideration seriously? You know, especially if they're childish, immature, incapable in a multitude of capacities to have any intellectual situation where the actuality of seriousness would actually be. There wouldn't be any forgiveness in that regard in that hypothetical. Because my son and my daughter being minor age children in the year of 2009. Unacceptable behavior. If some individual as far as pictures in reference to that's unacceptable. That's why I did not allow that particular aspect. And so sure, when in Florida at the beach in comparison to when I went scuba diving. So, you know, if you're an actual responsible individual in comparison to incompetent, in my opinion, if you're a responsible scuba diver, you're going to ask the one and only person. And the only person to ask. If you're an ignorant, incompetent, uneducated, irresponsible, quite a few other New Jersey words as far as difference to that, well then, you wouldn't see anything wrong with that and would try to convince yourself that that wouldn't be that big of a deal. 
trigonometry, with college level calculus, with college AP level geometry anymore. Though you know what? Unlike some people, I know the difference regarding how to count from one to ten. You know, unlike some people regarding 2000 to 2001 and 2000 to 2002. I have had that intellectual capability, but you know if other people would actually have been truthful and honest in comparison to overtly emotional and way too into their feelings in comparison. Nonetheless, those particular situations, so in the not even a full half hour, uh, as to the 23rd of June 2022 hearing for the fifth day of hearings for the 6th of June 2021 attack in Washington, D.C. Today is the 25th of June 2022. So, no, it's not any different. And, again, could have actually been discussed back in the year 2009 if people were actually responsible scuba divers instead of recreational lazy scuba divers. So there was a reference in regards to, again, I'll put the link to what I was listening to, as to how 45 had made whatever phone calls or whatever capacities out trying to invalidate certain things. No, no, my background has always been my background. So, you know, there's those references of access. And, you know, sure, I don't have the title of an instructor. I don't need one. I have more education and more of a background far beyond just a civilian, lazy, recreational scuba diver for Maui of any aspect of to that comparison because you know nature acts deep in comparison to being certified to utilize nitrons. Huge difference. You know similarly to cavern scuba diving and then not even being certified in a location that had a large opening. No. For those who know Peacock Springs 1 and Peacock Springs 2 in Florida, that's where my cavern scuba diving certification had been. So it wasn't ever a luxury for me as to any type of scuba diving at all. I'm not a lazy individual, though some people have had their opinion. I'm not a recreational individual either. Not into novelty sort of stuff. So I've dealt with a bunch of people that have been like, I know how people are from New Jersey. We're some of the most serious individuals in the United States of America. There are very few areas as to an entire state of a population of people that are nearly as serious as people from New Jersey. In the 1980s and 1990s, sure, there were the yuppies, but it doesn't change the fact when it comes to being serious, there are very few who are not. And sure, they can play whatever certain types, although the Someone who's already from that background where they don't play games on top of being born and raised in the state of New Jersey, that's a very different level of seriousness. There's no games whatsoever. So in those hypothetical aspects as to Maui and or scuba toys, in that wishful thinking, sure, you can have people who are born and raised Jersey and then moved to Florida. Okay. I grew up going to the ocean, starting out at Point Pleasant Beach when I was two years old. Each summer. Who taught me how to swim was born and raised in the Dominican Republic. 
ever set any aspect of in a pool other than my babysitter's backyard where I turned it into a whirlpool. Though in regards of swimming lessons, I didn't have swimming lessons until I was in like third grade or fourth grade in elementary school. I didn't ever go into a lake until I was in seventh grade. So all of those other summers, I grew up going out to the Atlantic area of the oceanic waters multiple times each summer and throughout the year. So, you know, there's a bit of a difference by a lot compared to. You don't have the luxury in regards of the Atlantic area, the oceanic waters off of the New Jersey shoreline to ever do the, the stuff that some people do in lakes. You don't have that luxury, even in regards of the Gulf of Mexico. So, huge difference. But I know, I look as I do. So I can make a pop culture reference. There's a song that is performed by Destiny's Child, and I think it's Charlemagne, and what the Purple Heart refers to regarding, you know, certain words in a different capacity, though, by far. in a metaphorical sort of way, instead of an ignorant, immature sort of way. So my personal opinion, just thought I would add that to my official YouTube channel, my official YouTube videos for that particular metaphor. Set of references, make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube and like my official YouTube videos, share the link to my official YouTube videos. I'm going to include a Joe Rogan Experience podcast that I listened to and saw some of the pictures for civilian scuba divers in that recreational, lazy sort of way, as well as non-scuba divers to take these factors into consideration regarding the difference between my style and my work regarding scuba diving compared to as far as that's concerned because those satellite images that are in that particular Joe Rogan experience video are extremely important to take in consideration as to the difference as well as the strength actually required in the water so, in a few Periscope videos at the time of 2019, will anybody who would have intelligence that knows that I have prescription, well, obviously, a scuba dive mask would need to have my prescription in it for me to be capable to go scuba diving. It's expensive my prescription. That's not including the rest of my scuba dive gear. But that would be if you had common sense, of course. You wouldn't need that explanation in this particular lecture or sermon or monologue. You wouldn't have to have that because that if you did, then that would invalidate any hypothetical problem regarding that would invalidate any background that you would ever have, in my opinion. That would invalidate any argument you might wish in that hypothetical. And so, if in the wishful thoughts of that particular individual as to January of 2019 compared to Though, you know, then there's the Nine Lives book problem, which again, my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, through my
my website, www.susanmelane.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com, did Endeavor invite into, and then the Century Link situation, which I brought up regarding my updates in the year 2019 to my journal blog, The Ordinary PSA. So those particular factors, again, common sense as well as respect and etiquette have certain requirements. So there's the modern day book that's in my book section on my website, www.susanmelane.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com, which the link in the book section to Amazon to purchase, though those updates to my journal blog, the ornery PSA, any capacities of and any hypothetical. Because those types of needless problems as to that immature fully in any hypothetical. Because there's no need for any aspect of in any capacity regarding my scuba diving. All I needed was the gear and then making sure I could work with my gear. I was born and raised in New Jersey. I'm not some punk who would learn how to swim or splash around in a little kiddie pool or a pond or lake when it comes to the difference between that type, if ever having done scuba diving, compared to myself. So that type, if ever having went scuba diving, Compared to myself, yeah, um, good morning, wake up. So there was some machismo aspect to which I had already went into regarding finding the silver lining as well. This individual tried to tell me the name of tools in comparison. This individual tried to tell me that a flathead screwdriver was a slot driver because he read a book that he didn't seem to be capable to put together that it's a flathead screwdriver and the directions probably said that you take the flathead screwdriver and put the metal into the slot to then turn the screw in comparison. You know, one of those types that wouldn't have that intellectual capability to even think about that. So I had made attempts to explain to this individual that, and these little titty baby temper tantrum, little bitch sort of crap that I had dealt with because wished that had the background of in comparison. So my biological father had built a five car garage with a shed attached and I had been in carpentry when I was in eighth grade, I've dealt with those types before. Again, I had been invited to Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment. I had been involved in regards to technology stuff because my biological mother was doing information technology, infor the, the engineering to the software in the 1980s and 1990s. I ran circles around biological adult male that tried to talk down to me and did talk smack in regards to my biological mother. I threw out code that they wished they could keep in mind and think. Back in the mid and late 1980s into the 1990s regarding those prudential barbecues. There and anybody who has known me in person, face to face in person, Especially after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, just think, I was calmer. Just think. Sure, maybe not the prettiest of words, but I was calmer. So, you know, when there are those who understand that, and so, you know, we didn't have barbecues at Prudential after a certain point in time. You know, there were a few 
males who had hurt feelings because a female knew more about coding than they did. And then, you know, a few other situations regarding that. Mm -hmm. I even dealt with that in eighth grade when one male, I think his name was Josh or Adam Landau, and he was like, I don't think we're compatible. Oh, wait, I'm going to have to explain to you that it doesn't mean technology. I know that. There are plenty of, and I had to actually explain this in Marlboro Middle School. So for those who have known me, especially after my head injury, just think, before my head injury, I was a teenager at this point in time biological female, and if I remember correctly, about that point in time, I was about to start PMS. For that, you know, because there are those who understand that. And so this, this male was all, I don't know if you could uh, understand that. You know, unlike some people, I actually know how to distinguish the difference in wording because apparently you didn't seem to understand that there are multiple words that are used in technology coding aspects that were around before technology. What type of artificial intelligence do you have? You should really think about that if you would be so ignorant to actually think that I wouldn't be capable to distinguish the difference between a computer coding aspect <laughs> to, well, I don't know, you are you, so, hmm. So, you know, in that hypothetical of anybody that could hypothetically take that in consideration, you know, and then there were New Jersey words after that. <laughs> You know, anybody who's ever been around a preteen. And, and then, then, in regards of that, that male tried to have a few words, and it was, seriously, I'm about to go to woodworking. And he was all, <laughs> and I informed him that there were band saws and circular saws. <laughs> and he was like, oh. You mean like stuff in a motherboard? Sure. Sure. Uh, a little bit bigger. <laughs> uh, just as shiny for certain parts. Just as shiny, yes. And uh, a little bit bigger though. Uh, the teeth are a smidgen different. And uh, just a little bit sharper uh, by a lot, yeah. And this male was actually like, well, what do you mean? Oh, well, then, you know, um, <laughs> you know, there's a little bit more weight in a few of those aspects. And then uh, I know both of them require a plug to work. Uh, there's a difference in voltage and amperage. As well, I'm going to toss out to uh, anybody. <laughs> you know, all of that sawmill stuff. And so, <laughs> there's a lot of dust that goes around that. that but yeah, yeah. So, this, you know, yeah. So, I mean, if you want to compare a, a motherboard to how I'm going to go to my carpentry class, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a bunch of different types of logs that can be utilized in the different capacities. Mm -hmm. And, um, there is electricity that requires to utilize certain types of tools. However, um, hmm, there are other tools that really don't need electricity at all. Yeah, so I know that when you get angry coding, you might hammer down on the keyboard, though uh, there's a difference type of hammering that I can use uh, and, and multiple types I can distinguish and uh, I know that there are certain assembly situations. 
I don't translate that to, you know, um, in the cafeteria or the gymnasium. I know that since you have such low intelligence that you probably think of an assembly package in regards of a keyboard and a mouse in comparison. So there's an example between, you know, real life human beings compared to <coughs> your motherboard type of thought process as to your intellect. That's a different type of your mama joke. And so, <laughs> my big blood brother, <laughs> he had been, so we were, this was on the second floor, and my big blood brother had been walking from one area to the next. Later in that day, he was by the lockers, and he's like, yo, Susan, come here. And I'm like, what? You don't usually talk with me. What'd you do wrong? I, I didn't do anything wrong. Uh-huh, what'd you do? I was just, I, I heard how you, uh, I heard how you told that like straight young girl. <laughs> I did go a, a smidgen onward because anybody who has listened to my official YouTube videos before regarding my monologues, lectures, and sermons can pretty much, you know, in some capacity, so in person, face to face in person regarding discussion, there's usually a back and forth in this comparison to my official YouTube channel. Make sure to share the link. My official YouTube videos, I'm sure you leave a comment, make sure to have etiquette and respect. You go to my website, www.susanmuling.com, which is the same as www.ladyzorybell.com. But yeah, yeah, that that individual, his, his feelings were hurt. I went on a bit more <laughs> than just that, because, you know, but that's, that's to the level of dorkness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's to the level of dorkness that I go. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> so yeah, I have issues with technology after my head was raised on Palm Sunday in 2000. <clears throat> you know, uh, during basic training where I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage and left out a little of my brain. For those who understand uh, technology pieces more than don't understand a subarachnoid hemorrhage and left out a little of the brain. Just think of in a technology device if you were to accidentally drop it in water, okay? And so that water in the internal mechanisms, okay? And so, you know, then I deal with headaches and migraines. So for those types, just pretend trying to turn it on without putting it in rice first. You know, for those types who don't understand that, and so then in those particular references regarding headaches, that would be like trying to turn it on first. In regards of migraines, it would be like you holding the, the device and then plugging it into a wall. You know, because there's those types who only know technology references. <laughs> and you know, there's a certain few that have had certain, I don't deny that. And and so that then, you know, what would happen to the wall outlet as far as that's concerned. So, you know, um, just for, for that. And so then, like, the memory deficits would be, like, if it were to turn on and, like, be capable to utilize, then you would have to, you know, remember passwords and stuff. And so... Cognitive disorders would be, you know, after, or you know what, better yet, memory deficits and cognitive disorders would be if you didn't put it in a thing of rice and, and plugged it in instead immediately and then were surprised that it only turned on and off randomly in comparison and then started shaking it around and heard sort of stuff in comparison. There you go. Though I also really have issues with technology because, you know, 
there I had my biological mother who worked in information technology, engineering, and software design in the 1980s and 1990s at the district. And so, you know, um, there's, a, there's a few areas that had a couple of computers, you know, like this whole office area. And so then there were other areas with different types of pieces of technology. And so, you know, a company that does information technology, software engineering and design, well, they're not usually going to have stuff that's out on the market. <laughs> okay? So, you know, uh, so seeing certain things, it's like, why is that computer there? <laughs> why? Why would you? So you just get it. So, you know, now, in 2022, you got Pentium Intel 10 or 11. I told people in person face-to-face -face in person that technology pieces for a general public are usually 10 to 20 to 25 years older than they actually are. So, you know, my biological mother was a dental nurse and a technology software engineer. So, for those So that would be like now in the year 2022, having at the house at that time frame for this notebook. So that would be like having an Intel 15. And so, during this time frame, since March of 2020, there are those who have had the situations of having children in the house and working on whatever work. And so, back then, that's what I had. And so, you know, you know, So, and I didn't get into video games or computer games. I just did like coding and stuff. So, and so, you know, I've done what I can to remain calm because I, you know, you know, like I made attempts to explain to people our situation. And so, you know, it's cool. It's cool. It's gotten to, you know, it's cool. So for those who understand other technology stuff, right? So that be so those who don't understand that level. Uh, so in regards of digital cameras, okay, comparison like. That was like a three megapixel compared to now in 2022 where you could get like a 
48 or 60 megapixel, but those we know have digital cameras didn't come out until like 2000, whatever. Okay. So there's that. January, because of uh, not just regarding who I have been engaged to in the scuba diving law enforcement scuba diving police situation, and then there's Irving 2011, and you know if my biological mother uh, ran her mouth, similarly to my biological but old sister, as to not just regarding my bumblebee. Zippy, aside from that, we're along the lines of 2004. All that in comparison, see, this is, this is, this is why. This is another reason why. See? And just putting that up there in comparison. Bringing that up there. Honesty is so important. So it could have just spoken the truth.
if you're listening to you know more <laughs> regarding that. I just figured those metaphors seemed a little important for some people to take into account. Today is the twenty-fifth of June two thousand twenty-two. Go listen. Sixth of January, two thousand twenty-one, Washington D.C. situation. Twenty-five June, two thousand twenty-one, or twenty-five June, two thousand twenty-two, in regards of the hearing of January sixth, two thousand twenty-one, but today is the. 25th of June, 2022. 